From DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. If you're already an official weirdo, please share this video on Facebook, Twitter, Reddit, and other social media to help get the word out. If you'd like to become an official weirdo, simply click that subscribe button, and while you're at it, click that like button to let the world know that you're a weirdo. NASA is seeking to hire a planetary protection officer. According to the job description, planetary protection is concerned with the avoidance of organic, constituent, and biological contamination in human and robotic space exploration. Now, that basically means preventing extraterrestrial life forces from spreading during space travel. Now, the position offers an annual salary between $124,000 and $187,000 and two weeks' paid vacation on Rigel 7. According to a survey, one in four Europeans has fallen asleep in the workplace. A similar conclusion was made about the United States, but uh, all of those were government workers. Just when you thought the anti-vax movement couldn't get any crazier, we take you to Brooklyn, where veterinarians have reported that some pet owners are refusing to get their pets vaccinated because they're afraid the animals will get autism. Uh, just for the record, by the way, there is no evidence whatsoever that autism even exists in non-humans. Dr. Amy Ford of the Veterinarian Wellness Center in the Boreum Hill neighborhood said this may be stemming from the anti-vaccine movement, which people are now applying to their pets. Dr. Ford said that more and more people hailing from hip areas of Brooklyn are refusing to vaccinate their pets for rabies, distemper, and hepatitis, all of which are required by law in New York. According to a study, people who attend religious services weekly live two to three years longer than those who don't attend regularly. Which is two to three years longer to wait to get to heaven, which is where we really want to be, so I'm not seeing the benefit there. The average person spends three days of their life on the phone waiting for customer service, and an additional month on the phone asking the person with the strong Indian accent to repeat what they just said. In Des Moines, Iowa, folks were simply shocked to see a guy using a hammer to destroy the beautiful sculptures at the Robert D. Ray Asian Garden, a local garden and park. Bystanders called police and begged the nutcase to stop, but to no avail. When police arrived, the man still refused to put down the hammer, so they used a stun gun on him, which was quite effective in getting him to stop the madness. He was then arrested without further incident. Man, who knew Thor could be brought down that easily? A University of Wisconsin student has been charged for running around inside the state's Capitol building naked. On the other hand, somebody found something exciting to do in Wisconsin. After their wedding ceremony, a newly married couple in Tennessee went to their motel where they got into an argument which led to the bride reaching inside her wedding dress and pulling out a pistol. It would have been a shotgun wedding, but she didn't have enough room in her bra. Britain's Prince Philip carried out his final official duty yesterday. He is now officially retired at the age of 96. So you can, so you can afford you know, to retire that young when you're married to royalty. The survey says 72% of Americans think people who speak multiple languages are more attractive. So I guess it's time to start brushing up on my Klingon. And a new poll shows Kid Rock as the frontrunner for a Michigan Senate seat. So this might actually happen, people. This episode of Daily Dose of Weird News is brought to you by the audiobook Last Exit by Jason R. Davis, an anthology of 17 horrific tales where life on the road can sometimes take a dark and unexpected turn. Hear a free sample and support Marlar House by downloading the audiobook for yourself at dailydoseofweirdnews.com. 